Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia with another journal share. Um, this one is a design team project for Shinami Rose Designs and um, I'll talk about the cover first. It's uh, a repurposed hardback novel. I've painted it uh, white and then done a lot of collaging of laces and fibres, um, netting, uh, some chiffon roses here on the front. Um, there's some pearl buttons and some flat back pearls, uh, a book plate with the word Paris in it. And on the spine, I've used an edge punch which has um, a scallop on it to uh, create a, uh, a corset uh, sort of effect and threaded a little bit of ribbon through that. Uh, on the back here, a large um, piece of uh, lace which matches the front and um, the just the, the white painted um, book. It's a bit vintagey and you can see a little bit of the original colour um, peeking through there. So uh, let's have a little look inside. This is uh, sari silk that I've used as a closure. Um, this is um, a kit called French Classifieds from Shinami Rose Designs. Um, this is a uh, commercial paper and there's some white um, lace down the side there. So this was a fabulous kit to work with from um, Daisy. Really enjoy uh, the colours of this one and um, the faded uh, vintage sort of feel to it. So I picked up a lot of um, this colour throughout and um, what I did was to print off several pages so that I could use them um, as pockets. So this is a commercial piece behind it here. As you can see everything's been tea dyed and I used some of um, Daisy's roses from her collections. This is also um, from one of Daisy's collections. Uh, she has lots of vintage postcards and um, they look great mounted onto um, cardstock and used as old style postcards. So I've picked up, as I said, that uh, the bluey colours in this and used a pearlised cardstock to create this large tag, one of Daisy's roses, um, a uh, paper doily and a piece of ephemera from the kit. And this is just um, one of the pages. I've cut it in half and used that as an extra tag. So white um, paper doily. This is one of my uh, the fav my favourite pages in the kit, and um, I've used it here to uh, create printed it out and um, used it to create a large pocket that you could um, put things in. So stapled some of the ephemera to one of the pages. Here I've used uh, doily uh, paper doily. Uh, tea dyed the edges and uh, a rose there to create a little tuck spot and put in um, one of the ephemera pieces from the kit. This is actually um, a page from a French language textbook and um, thank you to Rhonda Johnson from Junk Journals Down Under for providing those to me. Much appreciated. So a lined paper here to write on a little piece of stapled ephemera. Here on the vintage music page I've used um, little um, piece to create a tuck spot and then made one of my own cards and um, stamped on that and again using the um, the peacock colored seam binding to tie it all together so again stapled up there here I've done one of the um, secret pockets that I really like doing by printing out uh, the page twice this is a commercial piece I think it's from Kaiser Craft and um, it's French advertising so it goes really well with this kit here I've made a lace pocket, uh, did a little bit of stamping to create a little postcard and here um, made another large tag using a commercial piece and then um, glued one of Daisy's little sayings down the bottom there. So this is Sari Silk up the top here which I've stapled to that because it's a little bit bulky. So here I've uh, used a little piece of ephemera to create a pocket and popped another little piece in there. These gorgeous paper bags came to me from um, Monique Hoogley, who's also an Aussie, and um, I won those in a giveaway. So that was very exciting. It was a brilliant giveaway. And I was very excited to win because I'm not usually very lucky. 
And again, gorgeous um, Marie Antoinette images, and then I've created a little pocket using a commercial piece of paper, a vintage postcard of Paris. And these little tags are from um, another of Daisy's sets. They're kind of luggage tags and they have uh, French sayings on them. So with the um, floral, they go really well with this kit. So I'll include a link to those in the description box. So uh, this is the middle of the first signature and I've used the envelope that's included in the kit and just popped a little um, piece of one of the pages that I didn't use um, as some writing space. So these, I love this page and you can see it's just a whole heap of French ads, gorgeous colours and I actually printed this out and then cut them up to use um, as extra ephemera. So in here there's just a little booklet that I've created using an off cut um, from one of the pages and some tea dyed paper scraps. And I had this little die cut of um, a typewriter, old fashioned typewriter, and I thought classifiers will go really well with that. So I've included that. And you can of course write on that little piece of paper. Here a little tuck spot, a little piece of ephemera in it. Um, the other side of that lace pocket, and this is a gorgeous piece of ephemera. It's a French um, check, and um, that's included in the kit. So here, um, double printed to make a little hidden pocket and um, a piece of commercial Kaisercraft paper in there as a little journaling spot. So here I've used one of the ephemera cards as a tuck spot and popped in a page from the kit as journaling space. So on this beautiful page with the very soft yellow, I've used an off cut to make a pocket and these gorgeous little envelopes, there's two of them in the kit and I've just put a piece of uh, tea dyed ephemera in, a uh, tea dyed paper in there as a little journaling spot and then this was an off cut and this is a French receipt which comes from one of um, Daisy's ephemera packs and I have quite a lot of those so I... Um, when I print them out, I divide them up into things like um, French, different sorts of themes that I think I might use. There's that beautiful paper. Just really love the colours and the, the red, white and blue on the balloon and the, the roses. Just so pretty. So a couple of little pieces of ephemera. Another um, photo mounted onto cardstock and a large tag ma made from um, a Kaisercraft off cut and backed with tea dyed paper. So seam binding up there to tie it all together. This is the second signature. Love these papers. And again, made two little pockets, used the flower. This is a little off cut from um, one of those pages that I said I turned into little pieces of ephemera. Another photo, um, she was so cute answering the telephone. I thought that kind of looked a little bit French. And a large tag made from Kaisercraft paper and backed with tea dyed paper. There's the other typewriter. Don't know whether any of you have noticed, but I'm a bit weird and like to match up things in my signatures. I don't know why. So, doily and this is um, Tim Holt's die that I have and I've just um, used some of Daisy's flowers there and then popped a piece of ephemera in there. It makes a really cute little tuck spot. Um, what do you call those things? Stapled that up there. That's also from one of the pages. So this is a lined paper. There were uh, a couple of papers that I didn't actually even use in this kit because, uh, in this journal, because there were just so many. So card uh, tag that I've made, and this is one of the tags that's provide cards that's provided in the kit. So uh, use a doily there and a flower to um, just provide something a little bit different. Tag that I've made again the blue, um, one of the cards from the luggage set 
and uh, just a little booklet -y thing with some um, scrap bits of paper. So again, double printed the page to make a pocket and these were uh, two receipts that go in there. You can write on the back of those. So lace pocket, this is the other little envelope, really cute. Um, this comes with the kit, gorgeous. And this sweet little boy on his um, rocking horse and he's got his little sword and everything and he's got his little paper hat, just love it. So again, one of those doilies is a tuck spot, little piece that I've stamped as um, journaling space, little pocket there. The other little booklet. These paper bags are really beautiful and soft. <clears throat> Doily um, tag that I've made and stamped. This is the second signature, the middle, and um, because there was only one large envelope, I've made one of my own, um, used one of the uh, pages in the kit and um, just cut that out the same as um, the one that was provided and um, that matches in really well and just uh, glued one of Daisy's flowers on there. So that's um, half a page that I've used as a card. Beautiful page there. Made a little pocket, a receipt, tag that I've stamped and then a little piece of ephemera from the kit. Stamped, stapled. So this is um, provided in the kit and I used it to make a little tuck spot. It's kind of like a little envelope. This is a gorgeous little stamp that I have that has a French um, address on it. And there's just a little tag in there. Again, tag some ephemera. The other lace pocket, um, pearlized card, put the um, white paper doily down there and made a little, little tag with um, an off cut piece. So this is provided in the kit and you could even put other paper in there and turn it into a little booklet. Just love this page. I printed that out several times. Um, vintage music paper used um, off cut to make a pocket. This is provided in the kit and this is an off cut and I've just turned that into a tag. Use the seam binding again to keep that um, colour running through the journal. Beautiful page made two little pockets and um, Marie Antoinette provided in the kit and uh, so is this postcard of the Arc de Triomphe. Very hard to put these in upside down sometimes. <clears throat> Just stapled a little bit of ephemera there. So a little pocket here. Lots of space to write and um, still plenty of room to put your own things. So, and a little tag. And then this is the last page in the journal. So, um, more of Daisy's flowers, off cut. So this large tag, I made a little pocket and then popped in. Um, this one's included in the kit and then this one is an extra from uh, one of Daisy's ephemera sets. Okay, there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate any comments um, that you want to leave. And of course, if you have any questions, I'd be really happy to answer them. All right, bye from Australia.